When was Todd excited about the filmmaking process for Joker? Right. So obviously I was on board like from the moment one in terms of like really feeling like we were moving in, in the right direction and that we were making something really great. I think for sure Todd knew that we were on the right track, but I think the process of making Joker is tough on Todd, you know, and I think where he experiences perhaps the joy and the, um, the, f the thing that I was experiencing as we were making it, I think Todd experiences when he's editing it, right? And I think that's a pretty common thing with directors. There's so many things you're thinking of every step of the way when you're directing that I think the process of directing for some people can be less joyful than others. You know, um, Todd Solans, you know, the guy who did like happiness and stuff. I remember reading he like literally hates making movies more than anything. He loves movies and making them at large, but the making, like the day by day shooting is, and I may be quoting wrong, but at least I remember hearing that and I, know, I recognize why. Todd, it probably falls somewhere in the middle. I don't think he hates it, but I think with Joker, um, he recognizes that every day there were a lot of directions you could go. And, and I think when you have to stick with one, you know, you're, you're, it's fraught with a certain level of, uh, you know, just, just you, you're so single-mindedly focused that I think you, you know, Todd, I think, feels that joy when he starts cutting. Whenever I see Todd in the editing room, I think he, he just feels like he's now recognizing the fruits of the labor. As opposed to, I'm sort of seeing some of that in real time while we're making it. Todd, I see that in the editing room. So I think Todd, Todd, I think, was starting to realize, oh, good, we made something quite good once he started putting it together and recognizing like all the way the pieces were coming together. So, And I can only assume, I'm, I'm not Todd, but I, I can only assume that also, too, the, the little sort of commentary of the fans and the non-fans and what are the critics going to think and then the 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 there's this you know and so all of that gets heightened especially with yeah, something in this that, caliber and that yeah for todd that though that kind of thing i feel like he at the very least if it was in there it's only internal to him and i can't speak to it we never really talked about it outside of the fact that we recognize that there were a lot of eyes on us in the same way as like there's so much paparazzi and they're going to be worried about like, well, what does the Joker makeup look like? So it was like the first time in our career together where I remember like there had to be a conscious effort to like get photos out of like what Joker's makeup was going to look like early enough so that it got it didn't get out in paparazzi. And so you could actually like give it to the fans so they could digest it, have their comments, move on. How much of that affected Todd? I can't speak to. For me, I could see positive confidence right away, so it was good. It was like, okay, fair enough. And I, we don't do a deep dive to try to like analyze it uh, as far as like, and again, I don't think Todd would make an adjustment anyway. I think he would just say, this is what it is. If they like it, they like it. If not, then you know they'll deal with it and hopefully the movie will still convince them. So I don't know if that was a big part of it. I think it's just like trying to fill out, figure out the character and make sure the direction it's going and all those things that are just the tr tricky part about being a director. Whereas once he's in the editing room, it's really just him and Jeff Groff, the editor, allowed to kind of now, in a more meditative way, take that material and start really crafting the movie um, in a way that I think allows Todd to sort of see it um, and see how it's working, you know, as opposed to me yeah, just really, you know, I don't know if I, I just, it's, it's one of those things also just, I don't know, because I'm not in Todd's head, but, you know, I would go home and rewatch dailies, which I don't necessarily always do on movies. When, and I don't know if he would do the same, you know, I would watch them, obviously, because I was watching them to see about adjustments, but also, you know, looking for things that we were doing right so we could continue on that path. So, yeah. Like the use of light and color and it was yeah and just like also you try to get a little objective when you're in making the movie there's a lot of stressors of the day time management you know all the things you're trying to do within a certain amount of time and i think you rewatch dailies just to have some objectivity to see is this still the right direction is like that lens choice the right direction how does that translate when you now can watch it with a little bit of distance you know